What's up everyone, it's Jake here and welcome back to Almost Vintage Style. Today we're going to be talking about a pair of boots again. Okay, and I pretty much only have talked about boots and leather jackets on this channel so far. I do plan on talking other uh, about other aspects in the future. I actually did do a video on summer jackets, uh, which was my worst performing video by far. Um, but I still want to do more stuff like that in the future. I want to talk more about like trousers and jeans and stuff like that. I just don't feel like this is the right place to do it, you know, where I'm filming it. So I'm kind of thinking about where to do stuff like that in the future. So as of right now, that's why I'm mostly sticking to stuff you can either see up at the top or uh, like boots that I can hold up basically for you. So uh, the boots that we're going to be talking about today are my custom pair of clinch horsehide engineer boots. Okay, definitely one of my all time favorite pairs of boots. Had these for a really long time, absolutely adore them, and so I want to talk about them a bit more, okay? So, who is who is Clinch? So Clinch is uh, the boot brand of the of Brass Shoe Company, or Brass Shoe Co., which was originally a boot repair shop, started by Minoru Matsura. Um, he's not the only person who makes the boots there, um, but uh, you know they made, they've done some great boot repairs over the years, and then they started making their own boots, and their most famous boot is their engineer boot. Um, so Clinch is known for several things. Uh, they're known for uh, being Japanese. They're being no they're known for their um, designs, like the, you know very aesthetically pleasing flat toe last boot designs. They are known for their uh, the way their boots age. That's a big thing. They're kind of really famous for the way the lasts and the leathers age over time. Uh, they're known for very high quality, and they're also known for being extremely expensive, okay? So, yeah, that's stuff Clinch is known for. Now, you know, I want to talk about my experience with these boots to justify the price, etc., etc., all the hype and everything like that, because uh, despite the fact that somebody decided to list them as an underrated boot brand, they are the exact opposite of that. They are ridiculously hyped, um, and some people would say overhyped. Uh, so I want to talk about that. So, first of all, this pair is... Um, if it looks familiar to you, uh, it might be. Uh, this is a pair I custom ordered. I custom ordered this exact makeup. Um, I did not want the, this is a little bit shorter than I would want, it's like a nine inch height. I would have preferred an 11 inch height, but they didn't let me order this leather. This is the horse hide leather. They didn't let me order this in the 11 inch height at the time I ordered this. I ordered them in 2016, and I picked them up in June of 2017 when I went to Japan. So that was, Already, that's a that was a really cool experience. I got to pick up these and one other pair of clinch boots um, in a, during a trip to Japan, which was really really fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, really cool experience to meet you know Matsura-san and the other people that worked there, um, including the guy that actually stitched the uppers on the boots too. Um, but yeah, they're beautiful boots. I love them, and I had this is like their kind of like a light brown, mid brownish. Uh, Horsehide leather, vegetable tan horsehide leather from Italy, uh, now revealed to be Mariam leather, actually. And uh, at the time, they wouldn't tell you what it was, but now I guess everybody knows it's Mariam. Uh, built right half soles, uh, woodsman heel, which I I still can't remember if I ordered one heel lift lower than standard or if this is just what they stand what they came as standard back in the day, because the modern ones are taller. But I don't think I lowered these. Again, doesn't really matter. This is shorter than the modern heel that they use, okay? Um, contrast, lighter brown stitching, like a tan kind of stitch color, um, and their standard uh, classic narrow last, in my opinion, the most beautiful engineer boot last ever made. Um, again, my opinion. And with the brass roller buckles here, okay? So you might notice this kind of looks like their standard uh, natural horse butt engineer boot that they sell in a bunch of places like Standard and Strange. Um, I did not copy that. This pair came out before they did that, okay? Before they had their standard offerings and they were basically only doing mostly custom makeups and repairs, I made this pair like this, okay? So did they copy, because I posted these a lot over the years, uh, is my boot the reason that they made this a standard make? Because they even have the same um, like the, the, the mid the sole color is the same, uh, the heel, the, the, the rubber soles are different because they don't use built trites anymore. They have, um, ones custom made that I believe are pretty sure are made by Dr. Soul. Um, 
In fact, they told me they were made by Dr. Soul when I went to the, see them last time. Uh, so there's a Dr. Soul, uh, I forget what they got, O'Sullivan's Soul, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's Dr. Soul. Uh, and it's a taller model, usually. Sometimes they make the 9-inch model also, but they usually have the taller one. But otherwise, it's the same. It even has the same color contrast stitching. Uh, I don't know if my boots have anything to do with that. I really don't know. Um, I like to think that I do, but that's me thinking, you know, my head's already big, like, that that's me making my head the size of this room, if, if that's, if I want to believe that. But uh, what I do know is this, I made this first before that came out. So this is not actually a standard makeup. You can't do custom orders from Clinch really anymore, as far as I know. You have to either go to them in person, and I don't even know if they do that anymore. Uh, the winner of the second Stitch Down Patina Thunderdome will be able to do a custom pair, but um, that's, you know, that's a different thing. Uh, most of the time you can't do that. You just do their standard makeups now, or you can order one of their stock models, I think. So, yeah, interesting that mine now became basically a stock model, but I love this boot design. Um, I love the last. The clinch last is just so beautiful. It's so aesthetically pleasing. I think it does the best job of, you know, having a nice slim last soft toe, but still has enough heel, sorry, toe spring. Enough toe spring that it's balanced out, beautiful woodsman heel design, cut nice and closely, uh, nice triple stitching, very well executed. My upper stitching was actually done by uh, Brass Tokyo Masa, who now lives in Germany, at least as of the making of this video, and does repairs there. So he's a great person for repairs in Europe, especially like, you know, Western Central-ish Europe, uh, because, you know, he did a really good job with the upper stitching on these. Uh, in fact, uh, the more of the clinch boots I've seen recently, including the pair I have, my newer pair, uh, is not as cleanly stitched as this model is, as this pair by, uh, by Masa. He did a, he did a better job. Um, but yeah, so they are hand welted. The outsole stitch is machine done, but the welting is done by hand. Uh, the person who did mine was for a while the only guy who did it at the company, but he left after he made, you know, a while, a few years after he made mine, or maybe a year or so, I forget, but he's been gone for a while and uh, somebody else, or maybe multiple people are doing it now, but this was done by a single guy. Um, he's uh, Sh uh, Sinsen or Shinshin1209 on Instagram, actually. You can still find him on Instagram, I think. Um, I don't even know if he works in footwear anymore. I'm actually not sure. But yeah, cool V-stitch on the back. Really, I love how the nice square design of of the, um, kind of like the where the vamp meets the shaft, right? I really like that. Looks great. Uh, like the buckles. Very well executed stitching, very cleanly made overall. It's not 100% perfect on, not this boot, is it this boot then? Yeah, it's this one. One of the stitches broke here. You can kind of see it's like slightly loose. Uh, one of the threads broke, so there's still one part of it left, but part of it broke. And that was like that when I got them. Uh, when I first got them, I didn't really notice because I, I was handling the black pair, which I'll review in the future also. I was handling the black pair more at first, and so I didn't really notice this when I first got them. I noticed when I brought them back to the hotel room. Um, honestly, at that point, I was okay with it because everything else about them is very well done. Um, very well finished overall. It's not white cloud level, and I have seen more issues with Clinch recently. But at the same time, every brand is going to have some sort of level of issues, really. Uh, no one's going to be perfect. It's how they handle it. Um, for the most part, it seems like Clinch does a good job of like if they see something wrong with it, they'll take care of it. They, their customer service was, is generally considered pretty good for the most part. So, yeah, I don't really have any complaints with that. Like overall, my boots are very, very well made. One of the best made boots that I have. Uh, these get compared to Roll Clubs a lot, and I've done it. I did it way in the past. I did a comparison between Clinch and Roll Club, and I will do that again in the future. Actually, just because they get compared so much. And I do want to talk about the differences really more than which one's better or worse, but there's, there's definitely important differences. I just think, you know, this last design is just perfect. It's gorgeous. People talk about how narrow it is. I have decently wide feet actually, and I only size up by a half on these. Um, it depends on what, I guess, you know, I, I have, again, my, my friend Paul, uh, partial to denim or partial to vintage, uh, he says that I have liquid metal feet, they fit into anything, and I can be comfortable in almost anything. And I think he's kind of right. So I'm a 10 and a half on a Brannock. These are clinch size 11, which would be US size 10, actually, but they fit. Because, um, you know, lengthwise, they're totally fine. 
Um, it's just the width part you'd have to worry about, but for me, it's not a problem. Uh, now, in fairness, this is, I have actually had a total of four Clinch Engineer boots. My first pair was not these. I ordered these after I got a pair of their Latigo uh, Overdyed boots. Um, and then I liked them so much that I wanted uh, some other ones. And so this is one of the pairs I got that I custom ordered. And that pair, I, that Latigo pair, I did eventually sell because they did not fit as well. Same size as these. Weirdly, so these, all the years later, I got these in 2017. It's, I've had them for so over five years now. And um, we're getting on five and a half years now that I've had these. And they still feel fine. Whereas I had to sell the Latigo ones because the Latigo ones did not, uh, they, they felt snug. The left boot specifically, I, the area that I have the most issue with most boots is that on the outer front left part of my like left toe slash like ball of my foot, left outside ball of my foot, kind of like right here, this area, that's where I have issues. And on the, like so with my second pair of white clouds, I got some area added, some extra room added there and they fit perfect. And then with the clinch Latigo boots, I had to sell them because there was, it was pinching in here too much. Right shoe was a little uncomfortable too, but it was really mostly that. That's why I had to let them go. The Latigo leather is actually thicker. Some people think like leathers are thicker than they are. Most of the time, leathers are pretty similar. That leather was really thick and it's very, very stiff. So I knew it wasn't gonna change anytime soon, so I had to let them go. Uh, but these, not a problem, fit great. So I only sized up by half. Um, I'm pretty sure my friend Paul also only sizes up by half on clinch. A lot of people actually only size up by a half on clinch. They say to size up a whole size. That is not universally true. So keep that in mind. You, I'm not saying everybody should only size up a half. Maybe you do need to size up a whole or 1.5 or whatever. Um, but just so you know, not everybody needs to size up the whole size on these. Um, and for some people, you might not need to size up at all if your feet are very narrow. So that's another thing. But just the weird thing is that my feet are not actually narrow. They're basically an E-width as far as I know, roughly. That's what I know right now. Um, and like, like the red wings are all too narrow for me. So um, that's uh, something just to keep in mind with sizing. Otherwise they feel great. Like comfort wise, I think these are some of the most comfortable boots I have. They're not super heavy. They're not lightweight either, but I mean, they're not super heavy. Um, they don't have a ton of arch support, really not much at all. Feel comfortable, um, like good support, but not too, you know, obviously they're not super clunky there. It just feels nice. Like, and they feel snug, uh, without being too tight. Uh, the heel cup is pretty good. It's, you know, it's pretty solidly there. Um, but they're not, uh, it's still a heel slip with them, but I do that with it. I have that with every engineer boot. So, you know, uh, again, I'm not going to be the most helpful with sizing, uh, because I don't usually ha I don't run into sizing issues a lot. The only time I really ran into sizing issues was in my West coast. Um, and with Red Wings, those are the only two brands I've really run into serious sizing issues with. So, but yeah, I mean, I think that should help you at least a little bit with the sizing. People generally say on the classic narrow ass, size up a hole. I only size up by half and I'm fine. And I know other people that also only size up by half and they're also fine. A lot of people think they need the classic narrow wide last. I don't think most people do. And I do genuinely believe the classic narrow wide last, the CNY does not look as good as the original CN. The original CN is the one he originally designed for a reason, right? This is the one that he wanted to design. And the CN wide was made for Western audiences, for people that think they need wider shoes, uh, for wider, they need wider feet, or, you know, wider lasts or whatever, okay? Um, I don't think it's as necessary for maybe, for some people they do genuinely need it, and if that case, then just go for it. But I think you should try to fit into a, a classic narrow original if you can, first because it does look better like the the extra width takes away from the aesthetic overall i think um it doesn't look as, as quite as sleek um you can tell it's not as purposeful of the, of the design it's not the purpose of the design this is how it's supposed to look this is what they want it to look like um and it's you know you can see like the rolls are very nice it doesn't really crease much these aren't rolling as much as some of my other as the newer pair um and my actually my cowhide pair which is the exact same size uh, has more rolls going for it than even this horse head pair. So it's kind of interesting. I'll, I'll talk about that when I, you know, review that pair later on. Um, but you know, they look great. They age really nicely. They, it's beautiful leather, very comfortable, very well made. Uh, I, I know I've, I've seen people have issues with clinch quality more recently. I think it happens with a lot of brands. You see that happen with roll club as well. Nobody's the only brand I've seen that had no real quality issues is white cloud. That's it. Um, so, as long as they handle the issue, then you should be fine. They're not always the quickest to respond to stuff, but 
I think they genuinely take care, generally take care of people. But I love these boots. I mean, I really love them. Like I said, they, they're comfortable for me. I can wear them all day, multiple days. Like I, I brought the other pair, the darker brown pair on vacation with me to uh, uh, Vermont, New York, and uh, Michigan, and I could wear them all day. And they were pretty good for that. Uh, obviously, you know, 14 hours on your feet, walking in New York City, you're gonna, your feet are gonna hurt no matter what. But they were still pretty good. And I wear these, you know, 12 hour days, eight hours on my feet, walking, not just standing, but also walking around too. And they feel good. Like they're one of my better boots to wear all day long. And um, I have worn them a lot, actually. Uh, maybe not as much as some people would have, but I do wear these a lot and you know, they've held up very well. The Biltrite soles are pretty good. I actually like the Biltrite soles. Um, they feel nice and uh, they have taken a long time to wear down. Despite being decently soft, like I think they're pretty good. There's a reason a lot of boot brands have used this type of sole. So, and I definitely prefer half soles to full soles. It's a good thing that Clinch gets right, you know. Um, yeah, they're great boots and uh, I, just love them. They're so comfortable. They look gorgeous. My biggest regret right now is that I don't have a, a leather jacket that matches these boots right now. I like to match my leathers. This is not matching enough. I don't. I wouldn't wear these boots with this jacket. I've got other dark brown boots that I can wear with this. So I'm looking for another kind of mid brown leather jacket. To wear this. Right now I wear these with my, uh, you know, OAU Fukutin moleskin jacket because these are darker than that, but they still kind of work together. And it's not a leather jacket, so it works. But yeah, I mean, I love the clinch boots. Are they overhyped? Um, it's tough for me to say. Like, I it's paying two thousand dollars for these—that's a lot. Uh, if I didn't have any, would I pay that much? Yes. Have I ever paid that much for a pair of clinch boots? No, never. I've never paid two thousand. I haven't even paid close to that for any of my clinch boots. Um, I have not paid more than fifteen hundred dollars for any of my clinch boots. Uh, either buying from Japanese websites or direct ordering back in the day when they were less money and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is very expensive. I bought them back when they weren't, you know, my original couple pairs back when they weren't that much money and my newer pair I bought, you know, with a weak yen from a Japanese site where it was less money. So, you know, 2000s a lot, but roll clubs prices are getting up there too at this point and, you know, it's one of those things like the, the the hype of the clinch drop is crazy at this point. They are very hyped and I don't know if the quality is quite where it used to be. I really don't think it quite is to be honest. Like both of my first pairs, I mean this this pair has a flaw on it, a noticeable flaw on it. And they're still overall look a little nicer than the other pair I have and I've seen a lot of issues. Like I have people show me issues with the clinch boots that genuinely exist. I have people show me issues with roll clubs and a lot of other brands too. Um, uh, but those are two brands that have are known for quality that, that you know people show me a lot of issues with them and um, I don't know if it's worth it for everybody to pay two thousand dollars for a pair of clinch boots if I had none I would want to have at least one just because I love engineers so much but I would pay two thousand dollars for a CM wide last it just doesn't it's not the same boot it doesn't look the same it looks close but to me yeah, this is my opinion, my video, okay? Uh, you can disagree, but I don't think it looks the same. I don't think it's the same boot. Um, it doesn't look quite as nice. The it's, This is the one that you want, is the CN, the original CN. Uh, there is a bit of a difference. Um, and also, you know, at this point, there's a lot of other really good engineer boots out there. You know, Roll Club, the Motor Dress Engineer is really nice. The loft grid engineer is such a beautiful design and they have a lot of other nice leathers now so that you can pay you know less money and still get something amazing it's not hand welted but it's still really good but i mean if you're a huge engineer fan i think you should have at least one pair of clinch engineers to me it's the ultimate engineer uh there's not a pair that i like more than than my clinch engineers that's why i've had four and i still have three and i would have kept that other pair if they fit uh so yeah they're Gorgeous boots, beautiful design, comfortable for me. Uh, some people would want more arch support. Some people would want a wider last, which they do have. If you, it looks slightly worse, but it might feel better for your foot. Uh, but otherwise, they're great. I mean, they age gorgeously. The the way the toes age, the way the they just get that balance so perfect. It really is a it, to me. It's a beautifully aesthetically pleasing engineer. I don't like 
how quickly their newer boots, the Overdye boots, age. Like, I don't like how their black engineers become brown, like, after six months for some people. I think that's ridiculous. It's trying too hard to get them to age. That's why I like these. Like, these have aged very subtly over the years and more authentic to, like, you know, like an original. To me, it feels more authentic, basically. And my, on my first black pair, the custom pair that I got, they're, they don't really, they don't, it's not an Overdye. And this isn't overdyed either. Like, it's just going to age, right? I did get the dark brown pair because I love this jacket so much. I got, I wanted a pair of clinch to wear with this jacket. And that's literally why I got the dark brown pair. Um, but the fact that I had to do, like, basically win the lottery, you know, the drop lottery to get those, is, it's kind of a gross feeling. I don't like that. I don't support that. I think it's a bit too much. Um, but boots are uh, really, especially engineers are like, you know, their stock is very high. I've been screaming to the high heavens about how great engineers are for a long time um and so now they're so overhyped that like you know you got all the meme accounts making fun of engineers at this point but um you know i've been a big fan for a long time of, of this style of boot and i do think this is the best one in terms of overall design it's my favorite so yeah i love this these boots they're near and dear to my heart and i want to get a leather jacket in this color just so i can wear this these specific boots, this exact pair more often. So yeah, I mean, not perfect. Again, I think there are some issues with the clinch hype right now. I don't think the CN wides is nice and people equate it, like if people don't realize it doesn't look quite the same. It does not gonna age exactly the same. It's just not exactly the same vibe. That's me. Um, that's, you know, my aesthetic opinions. And um, I don't think uh, some of their other boots, you know, don't do it for me the same way, but I you know I'm an engineer guy, so that's my thing. But I think they're great boots. I love them. I mean, if you're an engineer guy, I highly, highly, I can't, there's no engineer I recommend more than these, in my opinion. Um, if they're worth it to you, that's the thing. Again, like the price is where, again, when I got mine, you could get, I think I might, I forget exactly what it was, but my cowhide, they're veg tan cowhide, and they were custom made, and they cost me like less than a pair of roll clubs uh, at, the, at that time. How much, they cost me less than the Roll Cups cost at that time. So they were basically, they cost as much as Lofgren's cost now basically, or something around that. Less than the, the Shinky Lofgren's. So, uh, you know, it's different now. They are more expensive, they are harder to get. You don't need them. I mean, I'm very happy with my motor engineers right now. I love those actually, really love those. And they're, they're two thirds the price of Clinch. No, one third, sorry, whoa. They're one third the price of Clinch. Ugh, I don't know if that's worth it anymore. So again, I've never paid that, the prices that they are now. So yeah, it's tough. I know, I'm just rambling now. Great boots. You gotta think about it if all the hassle and sizing questions and if, you're, if you know your feet can fit them, then you're great. If you uh, aren't, aren't worried about the price, then that's great too, then you then go for it. But there's a lot of barriers now and, you know, I'm glad I got in on them when I did, I guess, when I got in on them. Uh, but they're still beautiful boots, and, and I can see why they're so hyped. Uh, so I get that part of it. Uh, I love them, and I'm still kind of adding to the hype in a way, too. And I'm, I don't regret that, because they are beautiful boots. They're so wonderfully designed, and overall, they are extremely well made. Uh, the des uh, Minoru Matsura does have a beautiful eye for design. He knows what he's doing. Uh, more than most people do with designing beautiful boots and they do fit well they are well made they've lasted really well for me so you know I don't have any real complaints with mine um, but I can see how they might not be the right boot for everybody I guess is my point so yeah anyway hope you enjoyed this video thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time